David, David's fucking shadow. <laughs> and I was trying to drive around. Like, how did park right here? I'm like, okay, well, this looks like a. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know how uh, I'm getting in here, so. <laughs> sleep so I can check out this car meet over in Stanton, California. It's called the Brecky car meet. We did some footage of it last time um, when me, Durr, and the, a couple of the other guys are walking around looking at all the random cars. Um, they have another one and uh, we're gonna see how this one is. The weather is pretty good today. It rained yesterday but it's clear today so we'll see how it goes. It seems like a good time just to be out and about for a little bit you know just to see some other forms of human life. <laughs> Ew, those things here aren't even R and R. Three videos. TSX with a year of our conversion. Chasing J stuff on there. Red seats. Ooh, here's that M&M rear panel for the seat delete. It's an auto power roll bar. Jackson Z46. Can I give her a quick lesson real quick? Yeah. This is Integra that you saw last time? <laughs> you that once belonged to Jay Smith? I take it down right now. Oh, okay. Hard rate? Yeah. Super charge I'm 
It's a BMW 2002. It's like an S54 or something? S14. S14. Oh, sorry. E30 M3. Engine. They put a whole S14 in here? <laughs> Damn, he got the gangster uh, spark plug wires. Remember? Yeah, the technology <laughs> ones, the thick ass ones. Yeah. Remember, I used to have those, and everyone's like, why do you have those? I'm like, because they're thick as shit. Yeah. More spark, son. That's all the spark you'll ever need. Yeah, this shit like barely fits in here. Mm -hmm. Dude, look at this whole radiator hose situation. It has to come back to go over the... <laughs> the <laughs> distributor. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh yeah. Imagine if it started leaking right there. <laughs> he also had to uh, smash his air filter so he can fit in that little hole right there. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> look at his overflow. So easy. So compact. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather just put a K24 in here. You don't want to pay seventy five thousand dollars for this? Why not? <laughs> Everybody else out here buying three hundred fifty thousand dollar cars like that. Nothing. It's a good look. Yeah, it's like some kind of car show or something. Huh? Is that the line for the burritos? I think so. There's a bunch of different food things in there. What are we here for cars or burritos? Cars? I'm not hungry. It's too early for me. I was just gonna take it home. Uh, yeah, we could. Yeah, this is a good look. Mm. Anything black with two years on it. Yeah, anything black with bronze teeth is a really good look. So, the effects that we saw here last time. The Mark of Bulls kit. Ooh, now I don't have to go to that old school Honda meet because I was going to go just to see this car. Honda meet came to you. Yeah, now I don't have to talk to the valley. Mmm. So full Mugen kitted first generation Honda CRX. Owned by Junior Asper. Hopefully, do a drive by on this car soon. You seen this car before? In person? Uh, never in person. Yeah, yeah super cool. Yeah, Every time you point the camera at me, I like see myself and then it's oh, weird. Yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah. I'm not used to it either. Technology, man. This is kind of cool. I just feel like I always, always hit the pump like right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely you would be like... Yeah. Probably like when you pull it out, you don't want to drip, you're like, oh. <laughs> I already know how I am. I grab the, the damn gas pump and go right into the quarter panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's why you would fill the jug first. Yeah, you gotta get an extra jug stout. Into this. <laughs> Drop the whole jug, jug on the car. No, you got one of those jugs with the long flexible hoses, like the race ones. These are the things we worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That thing's super clean. Holy shit. Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You never seen your coworker's car before? Or? I didn't pay that much attention to it because he wasn't my coworker before. This is a Garage Amos rear quarter panel. I've been waiting to see the next time he gets tripped up. Just take the back out again with the tripped up. doesn't He doesn't drive this to work for us. No. If you saw him when he drove to work, you would never think he owned it. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything wrong with what he drives to work. It's just very, um, it doesn't look like a car enthusiast yeah. people at all. How does the Rywire office monkey have the nicest car? I don't know. That's, That's why he almost didn't get hired. <laughs> Got Voltex front, garage? Yeah, Voltex front, garage, Amos rear. Side uh, skirts? Jay's front fender? What? I mean, garage I mean, Amos. Fender. It's like a kind of a rear, smaller. And then this is, uh, this is a Saibon. Oh, this is a Saibon hood? Oh, oh no. <laughs> he ordered a garage Amos hood, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's kind of like... Of is that his car? No, I'm pretty sure it's this car. It's your mask. That's what his head's like. Oh, I thought it was a shock. This is the guy that's putting all the paper in the paper shredder, huh? The right wire. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be very useful. It's going to be an asset to the team for sure. Yeah, yeah. David, oh, sure. we talking about stuff you better have. This is Sam D's Supra over here. Really tight space, so sorry if I can't get the full view for you guys. The EVS kit, the EVS LM wheels. That Aston Martin you guys saw last time with the T37SLs on here. Still looking real nice. Hmm. Tommy's ASM Everything S2000. They don't sell stuff like that. Yeah, you gotta buy it together. Whoa. This fancy ass wing, dude. Fancy ASM wing right here. Oh shit, look at your trunk. <laughs> My bad. What ASM part do you not have? Made for S1000. I mean, there's some drive chain stuff. Maybe the subframe, which is expensive. What is this? <laughs> it's not, I mean, I have it's a lot of other stuff, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this trunk is super nice. Yeah, the trunk is sick. Yeah, it kind of, it's funny that it comes it's like strong. shiny like this. Yeah, it's very strong. Mm. It's super light. It's like five thousand dollars. It better be shiny, can't <laughs> 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 Yeah, Does it close nicely? Feel it. Go ahead. I mean, just feel. It's because of the trunk spring. It's, it's, oh, okay. it's exactly the way it should be. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Right, right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the trunk flies open. It doesn't, right? <laughs> it doesn't spring open. Yeah. Damn. Nice. Look at your rear brakes. Is this Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn. That's a big ass brake, too. Brakes as well, of course. Oh, no. 
Nice central theme here with the black and the yellow stitching. He has the ASM Recaros to go with the theme of the car. Some super baller ASM stuff. Fucking vegan gauges? I don't know if you guys can see it. Controller for the gauges. The steering wheel and the shift boot ties into the door panels. Okay. Are you enjoying? Beer? No. <laughs> Just drinking in the parking lot? It's only 10.49. Yeah. <laughs> day drinking, come on, you gotta do it. Not even the day yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's for your viewers. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> S15 Sylvia. Always with white cars and my blue wheels, of course. Kind of a nice contrast of cars here. Yeah, it's a GLC. So after the meet, I went back to the shop to take a nap and we went to the junkyard for like four hours, three hours. Yep. Got all kinds of cool shit. Spent just... like a hundred bucks, got all these plugs for work. Mm -hmm. Got some random oh, tail light. doing work stuff too? Shit. Yep. Got some tail light sockets so I could do my little twirly. You're just taking stuff from the junkyard? Yeah. Got one four door handle. The other one, the, the door wouldn't open so I couldn't I didn't have access to it. Yeah. So now and, I have to find another one. Uh, yeah, I just, so I just grabbed this one just for now, just to get one at least. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Got power door. People don't really know that you can swap out the rear handles on split shit. sedans. It's a, it's a secret. It's a trade secret. Yeah, I should, maybe I shouldn't post this. Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, power window switches. Oh yeah, because the print windows. Got this cool little Accord pocket. I, will, I always love these because they're just clean. And I oh, like, it works. I like hidden, hiding things. So then uh, I'm going to use like a 96 to 98 uh, cup holder and there's a DIN in front of it. Yeah. So I'm going to shove this into that DIN. Hopefully it fits properly. Yeah. And then um, put my DEFI control module in here. Oh, so it's drum out the back so that all the wires can pass through. Yeah. And just tuck it under there. That was like a CD Accord? Um, like a 2001 Accord. Oh, so new one. So then I went through, th I removed three of these because I just kept kept finding cleaner ones. <laughs> so, so you only bought one? Yeah, this one was pretty clean. The other ones had, were kind of like like shiny, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, one had all these kinds of stickers. Oh, actually, no wonder it had stickers because this panel was missing. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I always like these things. That's cool. Um, the nice thing about working on cars on junkyards is you don't really give a shit about the cars. Like, mm -hmm. like you just take shit off. Like, like when I was trying to remove these, these are power door lock, or power uh, door harnesses for power windows, power door locks, uh, speakers, and everything. Yeah. And I couldn't get access to this plug to unpin it, mm -hmm. to, to unconnect it. So then what I, so what I did is like, uh, I took off the, I unbolted the three bolts on the fender mm. and I took the whole thing and just bent it backwards. <laughs> I was like, 
eh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. And then I finally got access to this and then I was able to disconnect this and then cut this. Mm. I'm just going to rewire all this anyways, but I just wanted the yeah. the pins just so I know what pin it is. But you need to get window motors too, right? Yeah, there were a couple of them. A couple of the cars had windows motors, but then I didn't bring my um, 12 volt jumper oh, to, test them. to test it. Like yeah. make sure they go up and down smoothly, make sure the rails are good. Yeah. So they got both. You probably have some laying around here anyways. Sure. And then... Stupid bracket for the uh, overflow oh. thing. So I, for, new from Honda. This is eighty dollars. So I paid like five bucks. Is it kind of shitty? Is but it just bent like that? Hmm? Is it, oh, it's supposed to be bent like yeah, that. Yeah, it's supposed to be bent like this. So mm. can, like, paint it and shit. And then because I'm doing four door handles, I always like using um, the OEM door lock mm. power door locks because they. I hate the aftermarket ones where they just have that rod that's. Yeah. So I got the OEM ones. I didn't test them, but I'll test it later. Yeah. And then I couldn't get one of the handles off, so I just took a pair of clippers and just cut the cut the <laughs> cut this part off on the. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so I got two of these, and then these will plug into this harness, and then all this will go to an alarm to mm. activate the power door locks. And yep. A bunch of random shit. So, so you just need to find the other handle. Now. Yeah. So I'll just scour all the websites yeah Let's see and then all these like bulbs cluster bulbs <laughs> oh okay so you get rid of those fucking weird leds yeah there. and then like i still i took like all these all the like bumper clips yeah those are cool and then like door panel clips like every time you pop off the door panel these things keep breaking yeah so just a whole bunch of random shit um a bunch of like interior screws because i like them to be matching mm. or uh, proper and like even like these okay. the zinc uh what? screws these the cluster is held on by these zinc screws mm. so i wanted to i don't know what's on there right now but i want to make sure that it's right oh yeah because you're missing some and then, like all these other like hatch clips you know? yeah this, this, was, always good to have. this one was cool but it's aftermarket though the but it'd be kind of nice to use this to activate my twirly <laughs> your swirly light <laughs> yeah but it's this is aftermarket, so it's not the right color. But I just take it anyways, just because it's there. They make aftermarket. Oh, because yeah. it's just a bad, just black yeah, like the switch feels cheap, and then it's usually supposed to be uh, like dark gray, not black. Mm. And then you could also tell by the shitty connector. Yeah, it's just a generic ass fucking thing. It's nice that we have all these pins at work, so I could just yeah. pin it. And... Yep. So that's my junkyard haul. The haul for the day. Hundred dollar junkyard haul. <laughs> Now, all this stuff cost a hundred dollars. Yeah. What was the most expensive thing? Um. You didn't just shove these, a bunch of stuff into your pocket. These were like ten bucks. Well, <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, like buying these used on like eBay and stuff. It's certain like these are being a hundred bucks. Right? Yeah. And then so all I need is the the motors, the window motors, and then the armrests for oh, the yeah. door panels. Oh yeah. Cheetah print stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Pretty happy with the haul. Yeah. Productive. Yeah. It's messy though. Mm -hmm. Like it's like that, that junkyard had tar, mm -hmm. but then like some parts were super slippery. Like you just like just slipping and sliding mm -hmm. all over. I'm just like walking like, do not fall on this shit because it's just oil on the floor. Was it crowded? There were quite a few people there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with everything I got. Yeah. Clean everything up. Hope everything works. Yeah. Never loosened it while sitting in the seat. <laughs> Is it because you don't have enough room? Oh, uh, um, just because I sat in here and I was just gonna try. Oh. It's right here. Yeah, I think if you flip it, it'll be just right. Hopefully. Hmm. Oh, that's what RSG means. I never knew that. Really short guy? No, it says, <laughs> it says Rally Sport GFRP right there. And then uh, there's another one called the uh, TSG. Oh, what's yeah, that one like for? touring. Oh. So then this, the, uh, the, the, it reclines the angle of 
the bolt holes and everything, or the seat reclines a lot more. PSG. The taco sports. What's that big ass wire for? Sound system? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I still need to go through this whole car and remove all the unnecessary stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, PCI stuff's pretty nice. It's very well thought out. Like, you could slide it this way, you could slide it in and out. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much made for pretty much any side mount seat, right? I think these are for rails. Yeah. So, uh, sliders. I mean, it kind of looks way more forward now, but... Maybe too forward? <laughs> I don't know. It looks about right, to be honest, because your knees are going to be, like, around the steering wheel area. Uh, yeah, uh, see? That's probably perfect. Yeah, there you go. Just need to get the right hardware for it now. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, the seating position looks right. Because, yeah, typically your knee would be around that area. Sorry, David, you don't get these. Oh, he wanted them? Yeah. For what? Because he, he has Recaro side mounts on his, oh. but he's using PCI uh, brackets. Uh -huh. So he wanted the PCI rails that allow you to like shift and maneuver the seat everywhere. Uh, More adjustability. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this kind of works. Yeah, seems like it works out. Now you can have both seats match when you get the other one in there. Yeah, but it'll just be slid all the way back. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit, like, just two, two to three inches of movement forward, so. I could even go a little bit more forward, but. Is it on the last thing already? Hmm? Is that at the very end? Yeah, it's at the very far back as it goes right now. Yeah. What is their logo supposed to be? Is it Falcons? I don't know. I thought it was just like, I don't, I don't, I don't I can't even look at it. <laughs> it's like the three little circles. It's the yeah. Illuminati. <laughs> I thought it was just like the Rebel Alliance or whatever. I think they're Falcons, right? Are they? Yeah, these are uh, some RS1 Navis. Do they even live in, do Falcons even live in Japan? <laughs> I don't know. What's the sizing on them? 16.830 and 16.7.5.35. Hmm. Four by one hundred, and I hope they clear the spoon calipers. Yeah, but they're F F eight Fs. Twin block, right? So they, I think, they're made for more caliper clearance, right? That's yeah. why the smoke kind of curves That's outwards. That's hella caliper clearance. Yeah, dude. So it should be good, fine, right? Yeah. Uh, you have twin block, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're fine. And they also have extended studs, so if I need to put spacers, in. longest okay. studs ever. Are they long? Are they long as fuck? Yeah, they're super long. Well, what like, kind of stud you get? I don't know. Whatever came with the car. Interesting. ARP maybe. Huh. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Speaking of, just six throw it on right now. Okay. With the <laughs> on the lower down the wheel. <laughs> Our compound silicon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you want to grab those AO48s real quick? Ooh. <laughs> what tires are you gonna put on there? Whatever is the cheapest. Cheapest tire? Yeah. Cheapest uh, decent. Because they're temporary. I was even thinking like a Nankang or a Federal. No. No Federal? No Federal. No? No Nankang. No, no, it's like, I'm sure they're fine, but they're just inherently really heavy. That's fine. And for and for 16 inch, the price isn't that much difference. That's fine. What? Why is that fine? <laughs> Wait, I'm not worried about weight. No, like, it's... 
I don't know. Attack. To me, it makes it. I don't know. It seems like it makes because it, it's unsprung rotating mass. <laughs> I don't know. I, Which one are the eights? Uh, the face is like kind of the same, huh? You have to ask. <laughs> this one, I think. This is the eight, and this yeah. is the seven and a half. Between the faces, it's all the same. Yeah. But you're looking for like a 140 to 200 treadwear, right? No. Wait, what treadwear? As long as it's got tread on it, dude. <laughs> I mean, not like for 400. Purpose. Just to drive around. Oh, uh, not, not trying to track it. What about uh, uh what about the uh Firestone? Uh, Firestone Indy 500. It's a uh, rebadged uh, um, Bridgestone uh, Adrenaline. Hmm. Yeah. Um, they're actually like, they're like they're actually nice, like really nice tires. They're, like quiet, comfortable, and they have a decent amount of grip. Yeah. I think if anything, they're comparable to the uh, you know like those Continental Extreme Contact Sport. I'm not familiar. Uh, <laughs> like Legos. They, so the, the last year of FF battle when uh, they were still they had a spec tire. Uh huh. Uh, so all that bullshit that we went through with the fucking general tire and then the fucking DW. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Continental Extreme whatever DW and they're all sh they're all oh, real. Oh, I'm fucking real about this. They were just shit tires, you know. But then all that after all that Continental developed the uh, uh, Extreme Contact Sport. And honestly, a pretty good tire. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like just getting like a Nankang or or Federal. It's just like an AR well, one. Well, why or? though? Just because yeah. it's, it's readily available. It's easy. And it's it's cheap. cheap. It's cheap. Cheap and decent. Are they though? I think so. I think Federal in like a what does it go like a, like a two hundred five forty five sixteen or something like that, right? Yeah. That's the other thing about Federals like RSR RSR R. The only size for 16 is 205, 45, 16. There's no 215, there's no 215. Perfectly fine with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Super um, chunky, too. And they're like, they're like 75 bucks, right? Yeah. It's about the same price thing. For like a. It's maybe at most $15 more per tire. One of them was kind of curved, right? Yeah. I saw, I, just, I saw the photo on the. I mean, all of them, these all have like scratches, but they're not like. Yeah. It's probably. Is it eight? It's gonna be an interesting look, but it's better than two yellow tire wheels and two stockies. So. Hey man, <laughs> hey man, they're free. Yeah, this is the one that's <laughs> curved up. Oh, okay, it's, it's not bad. Right there. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. This one's stained. I wonder what happened. This just looks like oil stains. Where? Oh, oh it's, no. probably, it's probably just brake dust build up. Yeah. I mean, you can get some of that. Uh, these are temporary. So nice. Nice. So. Uh, actually, Andrew has a jug of it. Oh, uh, at, at a wheel flip. I'll just grab some. Sonax? Yeah, it's the stuff that basically breaks down the iron deposits. And uh, it turned purple. Huh. Yeah, it's nice. Wait, what turns purple? The iron deposit, it, oh. starts, it starts pulling it out of the paint. Oh. Uh, it's like the wheel turns purple? Yeah, it does. I have it. I'll show you a picture. No, I mean this whole wheel. No, it will. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I mean, and then, you, and then you just wash it off. Oh, and then okay. the purple falls off. Uh, it just, so I'm fine with just leaving it like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, because brake dust, it's like, it's like, it's so small, you can't see it when it come out. So that's why whenever uh, it, I guess, contacts iron deposit, uh, it just turns purple just so you know kind of like, you know, uh, the extent of, I guess, I don't know, where you stand with the, in the process. The extent of dustiness. Yeah. yeah. Do I need special lug nuts for these or no? No, it should be a, it should be a regular ass It's uh, kind of weird, it has paper. a step in the inside. Is it a, is it, is there an insert? A I lot of both not had inserts. Look at the, look at the it's... inside. And then there should be, and you should be able to see like a sleeve or not. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't look inserted, huh? But it has like. Oh no, that's a taper. It's just it's, so it's fine. Just yeah, it's regular. Uh, look like lug it. nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so in the in the other clip, we were Dirk kept making reference to this swirly light thing that he kept talking about, and uh, this is what the swirly light is. If you guys are wondering, what's the significance of this 
I don't know. It's just kind of a unique thing that all the Conjuro guards had. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of one of those details that you won't know about unless you actually see them in person. Mm -hmm. And they have this cool little LED that in the tail light that kind of just spins back and forth, back and forth. You can't adjust the speed of that though, I assume. Uh -uh. Yeah. And then I think the other one makes it it's really hard to do. Since it's double filament, it would spin yeah, differently I guess it is for a double current signal. Filament. And then this is when you break. Oh, okay. But I think I'm only going to use the twirl. Yeah. I feel like the ones that we saw in Japan twirled like slower. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's just a little detail. Yeah, it's cool. get pulled over for it. Pretty nifty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have like three of those in like very good shape upstairs, dude. Yeah, I need some deep cleaning for sure. Yeah. But it's missing some well, at least there's, you know, very accustomed to deep cleaning. Yeah, knickknack set number two is in. You got can't the swirly one. Can't have both. Yeah, have both. <laughs> yeah, you can't control their gauges and have a drink at the Wait, same time. Hold on. What if you flip it upside down? That's what I was thinking. Like, what if you flipped it? it and then... So you open like a garage. But then you won't be able to see the controller though. Yeah. The little yeah. block. No, 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 no. Fuck the controller. Then will both of them open at the same time? No, you no, just no, want to no, know. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> it might be closed, right? <laughs> yeah, let's take it all apart. Yeah, right here. <laughs> so it's not blocking the whole view. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nah, that seems. What if they fucking just made up perfectly and then like uh, you get like a special something mm -hmm. for your efforts? Like it makes like a robot sound too. Yeah. yeah. You get like a weird notification that come up at the bottom of your screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, that's so gross. I always thought that was a really weird spot for a cup holder, anyways, because it's kind of really deep into the dash. Uh, mm -hmm. But the fucking the Koki cup holders are fucking useless. No, they're not. Oh my god. That's like, because you're, it comes with the insert. It comes with the insert. Yeah. Not for Red Bulls. <laughs> yeah, not for Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Stop drinking Red Bull. Or like, uh, venti sized drinks don't fit in there either. They're too tall. Okay, so basically. You gotta bend the straw. Yeah. A 20 ounce drinks, sorry for the, for the, for the peasants. <laughs> Scuba second. Oh, yeah. Hold Wait, hold on. Why is that? Oh, because, okay, because it's not a venti, it's not, okay, I see. Because yeah, they yeah. got it at the fucking, uh, um, meat, the meat yeah, market. Yeah, coffee bean Starbucks or whatever, yeah. yeah. They don't sell fucking yeah. impossible meat there. No, they don't. Yeah. Yeah, dude, like, for like, uh, what was it, like, 2017? Mm-hmm. All I ever drank was either have a fucking venti cup. Just gonna leave it like this to bother people with OCD. Yeah. And you beer, I mean, you're it. the only one yeah, with the I was like, ah! <laughs> uh, Should I grab shims? No. I have aluminum shims no. for this purpose. No, just leave it. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> That's adding weight to the car. <laughs> That's why they're aluminum. <laughs> do you want it? Yeah, do you oh, want they're it? right here. Do you want it to be, <laughs> oh, it. Do you want it to be flush or do you want it to, to open notchy? I'd rather it be flush and open notchy. <laughs> This is yeah, new really levels of OCD. Uh, dude, you don't know. You don't fucking know. It's, it's gonna like, work. It's gonna work. I believe. No, I mean like you don't. Under, you have no idea. The, the viewers have no idea about the level of fucking OCD in the room right now. Mm -hmm. So by shimming between. Well, those, let's see what happens if I just loosen this a little, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, we'll see. They that, that would literally simulate putting a shim in there. See, this is car building right here. Yeah, the vlog's gonna be four hours long. Yeah. Most of it's just about this, this plastic box. Right. <laughs> I don't know if it'll... This is... Yeah. No one's gonna watch the vlog. Mm -mm. It's honestly ridiculous that we're all just <laughs> watching Dirk do this. Yeah. And it's fucking No, this, this yeah. gap is nice for the chat room. No, it doesn't... Oh, I would have Why? to shim this part, too. Well, just loosen it a little bit and see what happens. Just do it. But not as much as the top. So two shims on the top, one shim on the bottom. Or, you know, whatever. I don't know. Well, it's still, it's still on, on the thing. You, you... Oh. Did you just get shocked? Yeah, we just had a moment. Um, okay. Yeah, honestly, I would just keep, uh, I would just screw these in, like, uh, snug but not tight, and then... Uh, it's like still, like, way off. So. That's because you didn't loosen it enough. You want I don't think you want it. longer OEM Honda bolts? I'm fine with it just being flush. I'm not. And nope. And rubbing. Here you go. Not okay rubbing with. his racing. Four hours later. 
And then we just go back to the <laughs> We're house. still here? Yeah. Like, God damn it! No, every the time you... is coming up? Like, all right. No, every time you want to control your defi gauges, you have to hear that... That weird open I mean, notchy. How often am I gonna control this? <laughs> you want to confirm that uh, defi control will fit in there? So you can no, I've done it before. Okay. It's not my first radio. Is it not? Because uh, it kind of... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I have never put this down here before. I put this. Exactly. I put this in the factory uh, doubled in. Spot. But that exact one. Yeah. I see. It's a good looking tree. Tree looks very real today. Majestic today. Yeah. yeah. It's all nature. You might feel missed. Yeah. Wait, if there is, let me move the car. Cause it's like hella dusty right now. I don't want to wash it, so I tr but I also don't want it to get off. Oh, okay. It. Just push your car back. Okay. Oh that, yeah, there it is. <laughs> that works. Weekend now. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, oh, it just getting everywhere. Sometimes it just be spraying everywhere, you know. You can't control it, man. It's all over the place. It's fine. <laughs> so anyways, so since the car's outside, I figured now's a good time to do some some updates on it since we got some good light in here. Yeah. And there's been some more work done to it since the last time we saw it. A lot of minor things. A lot of tiny things that you probably can't see. A lot of cool details, like uh, starting with this oil filter relocation. The whole one of the one of the uh, I guess the a rule that I had set. When I start working on this car, is that uh, can't drill any hole, like a single hole, yeah. can't cut anything, can't modify anything that can't be unbolted, mm -hmm. or that you can't just buy, you know. So figuring out ways around that uh, has been kind of like the fun challenge on this car. Yeah. So like you see like the bracket on that oil filter, and how it mounts, uh, it's like overly complex, but it utilizes all stock mounting locations. Uh, same with. Uh, well, fuck it. Well, same with everything else. Yeah. So, it is what it is. A lot of it has been just like measuring, uh, whatever, too much shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, these are those things that you're talking about. No, it's not actually. Uh -oh. That's just shrink wrap. I just did that to keep it uh, from fraying. Yeah. Yeah. It's but no, I am probably gonna use those things. Yeah. yeah. And then this wasn't on here the last time. I think we did an update. But you're gonna change the filter anyways. I am gonna change the filter. Just for the matchy matchy. For the fur yeah, sure. <laughs> hey! Please yeah. stop kicking cars. I also added this. <laughs> yeah, I started making uh, the splash guards and ducting and whatnot. Out of carbon fiber. Yeah. It just, I, th I think it'll be a little bit more uh, resilient than yeah. plastic. Because Brandon keeps breaking a uh, fender liner, so I was like, oh, let's fucking make it out of carbon. Thing. Yeah, when you break it without even driving it, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. The car is on the lower side, and I really appreciate that. So yeah. So if he's down to put in the effort, I'll put in the effort too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Understood. What's up with this wiring over here for the injectors uh, and the fuel rail? Yeah, there's a, uh, it's, it's a radium fuel rail. Um, nothing against radium. I think they make nice shit. Um, but, uh, like, it just, uh, a lot of the stuff has been debadged. Um, mm. Simply due to the fact that I, I just think that stuff looks nicer when there aren't, you know. Uh, Signage? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there's no obligation there. I, I just, I bought it paying customer. So, um, I'll continue to do that with all the uh, stuff that Brandon likes. I'm gonna take the spoon stickers off this little windshield thing. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny though. <laughs> And then it's like, see, it's just, it's just like try to like, I, I don't know. I think it'd be funny to do that and just to see how you, how he responds. And hey, watch him try to pretend to like it. Yeah, just, just put regular wipers back on. No, like I'll buy another pair of those like fancy expensive spoon things, take the stickers <laughs> off of those and just put those on. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. But in the engine bay, you know, it's just like, uh, yeah. I'll turn this inside out. <laughs> yeah, you're just going for a specific look. I don't know. I, 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 I like simple things. No, sorry. I like things that are simple or like way too overly complex, but nothing in the middle. Yeah, there's no balance in your life. So no, not sense. at all. <laughs> Except for the 
streams only. <laughs> and this is the thing that you added recently? Like oh, the, the charging terminal. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, at the end of the day, this car is, uh, the main purpose of this car is for, for, for the owner to enjoy whenever the fuck he wants, wherever, you know, so. Just being like having easy access to stuff like uh, is being able to put it on a tender, mm -hmm. or you know if something happens, uh, I don't know if he leaves his headlights on or something, he can just jump it real quick. Yeah, not recommended with a lithium battery, but uh, you know whatever, put it on a tender and wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but so for stuff like that, but once again going back to the uh, the whole thing about not drilling, making any changes to the car, like including drilling holes i had to figure out a way to uh make or modify like uh you know commercially available things like brackets mm -hmm. to fit shit so that that's kind of a, a little custom piece yeah. that i i guess yeah i just use a bunch of off-the-shelf parts but like modified them like drilled i don't know made holes in the bracket to mount it to stock location stuff yeah yeah looks cool uh that kind of shit will continue on uh throughout i know there's, a, there's some like little things here and there like for example this clamp right here this is uh obviously temporary but it also keeps the ship from moving around while mm -hmm. i work on stuff and scratching stuff up so uh yeah just little things like that here and there yeah oh and now we get to actually see this color out in the sunlight and it still kind of works yeah i think so yeah yeah i mean it's too late to go back now mm -hmm. we just have to like it now Oh yeah, it'll clear. It's got plenty of clearance. See? Told you. So taking that bet. <laughs> Today is a wheel test fitment day here. Just to see if these Wanabis will clear the spoon brakes. And Dirt loves to over worry about everything, so he was worried that they wouldn't fit. That's what I do. <laughs> that was kind of good, actually. I just wish like the faces between the seven and the eight were more apparent. Yeah, all the scratches. Yeah. Should be all right. It's raw. It has plenty of clearance, huh? Yeah, dude. <laughs> he shook her whole hand in there. Right, Joey, what did you say? You, you wish the, the face was more different? Yeah. The car oh, just needs to be nice and low now. It'll be fine. Does it have Eibach rear bar too? Uh, ASR. SR24, I think. Made by iBlock? <laughs> yeah. Do you want it to match? Because I, I have a new one. No, it's okay. Okay, because yeah, I, don't, I don't care. I'm going to use this sway bar and then use this CompTEC tie bar reinforcement as opposed to the ASR one. Because I love CompTEC. You like the CompTEC? Oh, hey, by the way, I have a fucking ice thing. Joey said you wanted one. Oh, you do? You can have it, yeah. Just take that shit. Thanks. Gonna restretch the tape I like uh, when I when I, I when I put the engine in breezy game, yeah. I threw it in there because I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> but I like how it looks OEM. Well, I mean, it's not like main condition or anything. That's fine. This okay. car's not in main condition. They, they, they come painted anyways, you know? Is it painted? They, they like come painted, like that gray color. Isn't it uh, black plastic? I've seen a bunch of them the same fucking like weird like gray color. Uh -huh. I think it's like a newer one or something. I don't know, but okay. you can see it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also it doesn't have that snorkel thing. The no bottom snorkel? section of it. You know the bottom half that goes like around the. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't have that. Okay. Yeah. What? That's the whole thing. I can uh, include <laughs> carbon fiber version if you like. No. And, you know, I, I, I have like, I have that section by carbon. You, I'll you can have that. I'll compensate for it by putting a billion ducts that kind of like kind of goes towards it. <laughs> You're worried about this? Yeah. I mean, right here is pretty close, but the actual face of the caliper is <laughs> It's like, oh man, it barely clears. I could, I could fit almost two fingers in there. Put another caliper in there. <laughs> it's pretty light. Put a seven on there and see if it fits. I'm pretty sure the seven will be. It it's got the same face. <laughs> is that well? I think this, wait, does it, does the same offset all around, right? Uh, 30, 830, yeah. 7 and a half, 35, so. Oh, it's a three millimeter difference? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean like, uh, like, so it'd be a total of like 15 mil. 
And I can't imagine that they added that to the the pad. So yeah, it would have like uh what five sixteenths inch less clearance, I guess, the, the real ones. Yeah, it's like super close. Man. Yeah, I mean super super close specs. Would you be able to put them in the front in case of like I don't know a flat tire or something? Probably. Oh cool, the seven and a half. That's useful, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you put a spare in the back. Yeah. Especially if you have a fucking gear. Uh, I mean, I probably don't even have a rear tire, a spare tire in here, anyways. Relaxing Sunday morning here at the shop. There's Clay barring his car. I'm just watching. These are the perks that come with getting your car painted. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. <laughs> smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth. I'm surprised because I thought all the car code was done. You could rip the side moldings off and then clay bar under that. I mean, it'll probably have to because it's going to probably have all that residue. Mm -hmm. that, uh, all that adhesive. Yeah. It's only on the top, I think, right? I've never removed Civic ones before. Guess we'll find out. Need some goo gone, and, like some plastic razor blades or something. Probably soak it in goo gone and then just rub it off. Yeah, we can do that too. <laughs> 